Hello everyone! Today I have the Magello Mission Gold 12 pad set that I will be reviewing as best as I can. Um, this is my first review so it might be, okay, it will be a bit sloppy. Um, I am by no means a professional. I do not do art seriously, only as a hobby and I didn't take any art classes at school. So all that I have to say will be my own opinion as a soft taught doodler. <laughs> I noticed there was not a lot of reviews for the Magello Mission Go Pen set was available on YouTube. And I was lucky enough to get this set for Christmas from my sister-in-law who is Korean. The palette is a beautiful rose gold color to reflect the Mission Go range. As I said, this is Magello's artist quality he paints. It is very light and made from plastic and comes with two more cheaper plastic coverings inside that I kept to be additional mixing areas despite them being cheap and flimsy. I also have the Mission Silver set which is Magello's student grade uh, paints but the problem I had with that palette is the pants falling out of it. Uh, a YouTuber named Pierre Fleur said in a video that Magello had fixed this problem by tightening the little pen holder gap things. I don't know what they call it. <laughs> and <laughs> it is shown here how difficult it is to remove the pens in the fruit palette. But I rather have my pens nicely secured than for them to fall out as I move. This is the comparison between the pants of the Mission Gold and Mission Silver range. Silver is a bit bigger but not quite the standard size of a full pan. I'm not 100% sure how the sizes change between the 12 pan palette and 24 pan palette but from what I could find there are only three different ranges of pans listed on the website and two had the same dimension of 165 times 85 times 25 millimeters and the other one was just called the regular size so that doesn't really tell me much. And only one of these refills is for the Machine Goal range. So yeah, this part of the review became a confusing mess. If anyone actually knows, please tell me. Okay, <laughs> enough rambling about that. Here is the palette size different between the 24 and 12 pan set. From what I know, the 24 Mission Gold set is only a little bit smaller than the 24 silver set, but not by a lot. I chose the 12 pan set for Christmas because I really did not like how chunky and big the palette was for the 24 set. and. In a way, I sort of regret it a bit. I will explain that a bit later. Okay, time for swatches. I'll be using my mastery sketchbook that says pack money on it. This has 300 GSM A5 size watercolor paper in it. I'll also use my round silver velvet brush in size 8. These watercolors were very creamy and very, very easy to pick up this powerful punch of color. They didn't shift colors much after drying and remained pretty vivid and bright. I tend to do a lot of doodles that I would like my watercolors to behave like these, so they are right up my alley. <laughs> At the time of this review, this set retails for about 66 USD on eBay, but my sister-in-law got it for much cheaper. And I didn't ask her how much it costs because that's a bit rude, especially if it was a gift. <laughs> I'm assuming, and I'm strongly underlining the assumption part, that this set isn't quite as popular as the other Magello products due to the price. You are able to get a 36 set of 7ml tubes with a palette under the Mission Goal range, which is the artist range, for roughly 70 USD or cheaper, which means that set is much more affordable than the set.
not going to go into depth about the pigments as much as I love rambling about it. And my friends knows this a lot. <laughs> I think that would add in a lot of confusing and unnecessary information and can only be fixed by more rambling. <laughs> These paints are mainly single pigment with the exception of bright clear violet and sap green. They also have high light fastness ratings of 4 stars and above, meaning the painting should not change colors or fade for up to 100 years or more. As per usual, the only exception for this is bright clear violet. Which is the color I would definitely switch out since I think I can mix a purple that is similar to that without much trouble, especially since two of the colors of the mixture of this violet color is in the set already. I would have liked a yellow ochre or a normal brown like a brown sienna over the bright clear violet but that's a personal preference. These colors are what I use the most especially for mixing skin tones, mainly my skin tone which is a dark but tan olive color and it's a bit not usual I guess. So having these browns would make it a lot easier. I found all the colors to lift pretty well though most of them are semi-staining but that didn't really matter to me since I don't do a lot of lifting unless I got colors in the wrong places. <laughs> I had recorded some glazing but the file corrupted. Again, I don't do a lot of glazing so I can't say much about it. But I do really wish I did all these tests at the same time rather than to record, stop, wait for the paint to dry, record, stop and so on when I made this video um, so it would be more condensed. <laughs> so I'm really sorry about it. I even forgot the transparency test. And that's one of the main ones. But I can tell you they are all either semi-transparent or transparent. So this is a mixing chart that I created with the Magello Gold Panzer. I won't go into too much detail. Um, it has 11 of the 12 colors because I've excluded bright clear violet. Mainly for the reasons I said prior, but also there was no space on the paper and I don't really use purple for mixing. Making a mixing chart is very important, so it makes painting a lot easier. You'll know how to mix certain color, but also see how paints behave with each other. For example, the ultramarine light, you can see the blue granulating under all the mixes, which could give undesired texture or characteristics, but also something interesting in your paintings. Mixing chats also show which colors make a color that isn't really wanted and this is sometimes referred as a muddy color but I personally love these muted desaturated colors. These are all characteristics to consider with Magello Machine Go Pan Set. I actually made a bad mixing filming session prior to this chat. <laughs> when I was making it I kept thinking well, this isn't right. And I'm glad I restarted and remade the whole thing because I actually like this mixing chart a lot better. The mixing oil showed the mixing of primary colors and neutral and the two different blues made a huge difference with ultramarine light making a nicer purple and cerulean blue making a better green. I think all the neutrals mix well with an exception of the blue. <laughs> It took a lot longer to make it not too warm or not too cold. In the end, the granulation of the blue showed through and it won. Alright, to the speed painting. It took a while to mix a nice tan olive color but I managed at the end. I spent so much time on the skin that I ended up kinda of 
for doing it, but I learned and it became easier for the second doodle. And that's included at the end of the video. Honestly, <laughs> I didn't sketch out what I wanted. I had a concept in my mind and I went with it, then I regretted it. <laughs> And at the same time, I was kind of experimenting things too. I haven't been all that happy with my doodles lately, but you know, that's a story for another time. I've also filmed this using artificial lighting for the first time, and I think it went well. Um, it didn't turn out too dark, which was what I was scared of, and I think it will be good for the upcoming winter evening. <sighs> but yes. This is me in my actual bed, okay, not my actual bed, but a drawing of my actual bed <laughs> with my dog and it doesn't look like either of us. I've even forgotten to draw the tattoos on my arm and didn't realize for a week and a half. In the end, I did like it, but I wasn't 100% proud of it. So I planned another drawing next to it and I actually sketched it at this time. I made my dog pose so I could get references of him and it ended up looking more like us with my rounded face and large forehead and my dog actually looked like a terrier and not that puppy that Arthur had in that 90s cartoon <laughs> but <laughs> I, I still forgot my tattoos and I added them in much later when my best friend Aaron laughed at me for it. I mean, like, my tattoos aren't hidden, they're on my arm, they're basically on my face. I, I don't know how I keep forgetting it. Ah, uh, whatever. Anyway, I was a lot happier with the magical girl me, and I'm glad I kind of redrew it. So that is all. I hope you are able to take away some information about Magellan Mission Go Pen paints. I've learned a lot about making reviews and I will be applying them to my next one, if I make one. Thank you for watching. Happy painting. Bye.